Hello beautiful people, welcome to my Wild Earthstone channel. Today I bring you two games um, about a topic that was, if not the first one of the first that I considered uh, addressing in the channel. Uh, and that topic is the impact of uh, Fiery War X uh, in Pirate Warrior in Wild. Um, when, this, uh, when this nerf was announced, a lot of people uh, said that it was the end of Pirate Warrior um, and I was a little bit doubtful of that, especially in Wild where Pirate Warrior has a lot more tools than it has in, uh, in Standard. Uh, so I decided to do uh, a couple of tests. So the first one was to climb to uh, rank 10 before the nerf um, and after the nerf occurred I climbed again to rank 10, uh, always with the same Pirate Warrior deck. So, no changes. This list is from uh, Control the Board, uh, and it was the list that I used in both climbs to 10, before the nerf, and after the nerf. And my point was that I wanted to compare the experience of using um, the, the same list in, the, in, the, um, in these two settings of having uh, Fiery War X with a different uh, mana cost. So, um, the first game that I'm going to, to show you um, was the game pre-nerf. Uh, and there are a number of things that I would like you to know, even if they are a little bit of a spoiler, uh, before uh, you watch the, the game. Uh, and those things are, I had no experience with the deck. Uh, I uh, experienced uh, Pirate Warrior when uh, Ministries of Gadget Sun was released, because everyone was talking about it and I didn't uh, really build my own decks. So I played it a bit, but I never, uh, never got too much into the into the, the the archetype. So for the most part, and especially in Wild, I had exactly no experience with with the deck. Um, the second point is that Fiery War X was played on turn one, and I want to make this point very clear because it it was very important to play that Fiery War X on turn one with a coin and uh, you will easily understand why. But I wanted to make this clear because I wanted you to have that in your mind on how that affected the whole game from, from that point on. Uh, the, the third point is that I confused the matchups. Um, in fact, during Mean Streets of Gadgets, and I played um, Dragon Priest uh, to fight um, Pirate Warrior. And uh, although the game, uh, the, um, the matchup was never uh, good for uh, Dragon Priest, uh, I was used to do all right with it against Pirate Warrior. So I was quite confused about this, this matchup and this will be noted uh, during the game. Uh, and last but not least, one thing that I want to be perfectly clear is, uh, is that the amount of mistakes that I do pretty much in every turn uh, would be relevant if it wasn't for the power level of this archetype in Wild. Okay, so keep these four things in, in mind. Um, multiple mistakes, especially in Fiery War X uh, on turn one. These two are, are very, very important. Uh, and watch the game, and then I'll return. We'll chat a little bit more, and then we'll check the second game. Okay, see you in a bit. So, Priest, a golden one. I expect a lot of trouble from this guy. Priests are almost a, if I understood correctly, they are almost a natural counter to Pirate Warrior. So we'll see. I'm just going to play the Fiery War X here. Uh, and see where this takes us. I can probably upgrade and sustain deck and actually dragon priest is a pretty good and to make it worse I got a patches so in the times of um, mean streets of gadgets and dragon priest was actually one of the best counters to uh, to part of so we'll see now in a while. It's the first time that that, that I'm playing um, against a Dragon Priest using this deck. So I've played... This is my fifth game today. 
and currently I am 100% um, victorious, which is uh, weird, to say the least. Uh, we'll see what happens next. My work is paramount. Okay. So I'm just going to. So I'm going to play the Frothing Berserker and this fellow. The objective here is to kill this, generating um, a 4 4 that he cannot. Uh, actually, it's going to be a 5 4, unfortunately. Um, that he can probably shadow or death. Um, I miscalculated this. I was expecting. I was expecting uh, a 4 4. That priests don't know how to handle a 4, four attack. So, okay, that's this one, which is okay. So, it's going to take 11 more. I honestly have no idea if he's playing some kind of Reno variant, if he is, and plays Reno next. I'm, I'm probably done. I'm not going to win the game. Um, but we'll see what, what he has. If he doesn't play Reno, I probably won the game. Yeah, I probably won the game. Um, so, is there... Do I have lethal somehow here? I do have lethal. So... Oh man, this was a gross misplay. A gross misplay. A gross misplay on my part. I had to hit first with the, the deckhand and then with the captain so that I could have lethal. Um, now, I miss lethal basically due to a gross misplay. Did that, that was an absolutely R. Um, miss do this and heal. And that I don't hit, and that I don't hit um, the hunter hero power now. Well, it doesn't matter. I feel a little bit bad for the guy because uh, I feel bad for the guy. I mean, I played it badly. He probably didn't draw well. I had a gross misplay and. And with this huge win streak, I mean, it's um, it says quite quite a lot about Pirate Warrior in Wild. Hello, welcome back. I'm pretty sure you felt as bad as bad as I did about uh, the player that uh, played that game against me uh, using Pirate Warrior. I it was the only game. I ever felt I should not have won the game. Um, it, it was really a weird experience to feel that I had made such a bad, such a gross misplay and still won the match relatively easy. Now, the second game is post-nerf. And I want to make a couple of points before uh, we go to the, to the actual game. The first one is that obviously I had some experience with the deck. I climbed with it once. Uh, then I climbed with it again to get the uh, game for for this section, but I actually managed to lose that game. So I recorded again one game with uh, Pirate Warrior post nerf. So I had two full climbs to ten with Pirate Warrior, and then I recorded this game. Okay, um, some some uh, a very interesting point because of the discussion that Fire War X was going to affect Pirate Warrior. And some people said that it was going to affect more uh, of other uh, archetypes, uh, other warrior archetypes than, uh, in fact, uh, Pirate Warrior, was that Fiery War X, although it was played, was not particularly relevant to me in this match. 
in fact, uh, it was a lot more relevant for my opponent. Um, and at the point that I use it, I could have used almost any of the other weapons that I could uh, have equipped. So if I, um, if I had drawn a, a different weapon, it, the result would be the same. But for my opponent early in the game, uh, that was not true, especially when, uh, when I play the ship's cannon, take, take close attention to that turn specifically and the impact that it had in the game. Uh, but overall, it's exactly the same plan, just a slightly different execution because I cannot count on Fiery War X uh, on turn two to get rid of, of things like uh, Northshire Cleric or, um, or the, um, the one three from Shaman and things like that. So uh, pretty much all of those uh, or ship scanning for for that matter. So uh, all of those early threats that uh, Fire War X was able to deal with, uh, now they are not available on turn two, only if you have the coin and if you drew it. So uh, let's check the second game and I'll come back with my thoughts about the, these two climbs and uh, what I felt it was different uh, between the two. Okay, so see you in a bit. Garrosh versus Garrosh. <clears throat> Bring it on. So, I want to keep upgrade just in case I have some nice surprise. I'm hoping this is not a pirate warrior because, um, well, because I really don't want to play the mirror match. But we'll see what this is. No. Okay. I can have a pretty big explosion. Well, I will still have a pretty big explosion in the next turn. So it's okay. Um, so the, the next turn I just want to play um, Zoth upgrade uh, South Sea. I think I'm still going to have a pretty big turn right now. So Zoth, you upgrade to South Sea. This is a pretty big turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, sorry. Uh, not particularly worried with this. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do this, this. I want to keep uh, South Sea. My point in keeping South Sea is that if if I need to um, play any pirate that needs another pirate, this is a pretty good one to start with. Well, here we go. So this fellow into this fellow. So. I will have to lose this guy, whatever happens. I will have to lose him. Whatever happens, I will still lose this. It is what it is. He will need to put quite a big uh, amount of armor. But the point is... Death does not scare me! Um, would be great if I had. Hmm. Okay. Should I just play this? If I play, my blade be thirsty. Thank you. 
I might get a weapon. So I don't want to attack here until I'm able to get another minion. It would be good if I could get a weapon or something that kills the Dead Lord, the Death Lord. We'll see what happens. Five turns of hero power is not good enough. It's too slow. Uh, by that time, he will probably be just managing to kill me. He doesn't want to hit this guy. Well, unless he has execute, yeah, this is a good play. Problem is, I'm going to have options now. No. It's still too slow. Uh, but on the other hand, you will feel less inclined to play Whirlwind Effects. Uh, he may play Brawl just to remove the pressure. Uh, but he is a weapon or a Leroy or any charge away from, from losing the game. You might want to kill that one. Yeah, this is good. For him, obviously, not for me. It's so awful. But I am top decking, so uh, this is not looking good. And now I'm holding to this card. And he's Let the pain going to attack me to again, me. and oh, I'll just keep removing that from him. He cannot kill this easily. He will need to. Oh, that's bad for me. I need to draw one more card. Okay. He's on 12 now. He's drawing cards. And armoring up. So he's now on f at 14. I could not kill him even with Leroy. So we will see where this goes. So this is 3, 7. Okay. So it's 12 damage right now. So he needs to. He cannot kill. He needs to attack my face. Um, he needs to get rid of everything right now. He needs to taunt, armor up, get rid of that, of that minion. It's too much stuff at the same time. If I was him, I would be trying to draw for an answer because if he has one, it's not completely clear right now. That's good for him again, not for me. <laughs> for me, it's awful. But I have charges and I have. Yeah, and I have Leroy. So. So. Paritory strikes again. Um, and then that's it. Welcome back! Now that you watched both games, uh, you probably noticed some differences. So, the impact on Fire War X in that particular game against the Control Warrior was actually pretty bad for the Control Warrior, not that, that bad uh, for me. Um, Control Warrior could not deal with the ship's cannon, so I had a huge uh, turn after I played it, which pretty much set the, uh, almost the rest of the game from, from that uh, point forward. 
Now, comparing the two climbs to 10 before and after the nerf, uh, one thing that, that was uh, surprising to me was that, that the pre-nerf win rate was 100%. So I played the deck incorrectly. Many times it was not just that game. I did many, many mistakes. Uh, I had no experience with the deck and still I climbed directly to 10 without um, pretty much any problem. I won every single game and I have absolutely no issues in uh, ranking up to 10. In the post-nerf, where I had more experience with the deck, uh, my win rate was 88%. Now, let's be clear, 88% is pretty brutal, okay? Even with, with experience with the deck, and, you know, but with, with the nerf on top of it, uh, I, I was expecting that Pirate Warrior was still strong, but I was not expecting that I would be able to almost match the win rate that, that I had uh, from, from the, the previous run. Um, what I found was that the deck is now a lot less forgiving. So if you are uh, playing Pirate Warrior and you do uh, a, a really bad mistake, like some of the sequencing, sequencing mistakes that you watched in the first uh, video, uh, you are probably going to lose the game. So every time I misstepped a little bit, I was punished, basically. Uh, and since I could not catch up uh, with Fiery War X early on, uh, I, I ended up having losses on uh, because of that. Uh, but all of this said, uh, the truth is that Pirate Warrior is not that less powerful than it was before. It's still very powerful. I'm pretty sure that after rank 10, uh, things will get a lot more complex and complicated and that the opponents will be much, much better. Uh, but the truth is that... Uh, for the purposes of having a, a quick deck that can climb uh, quickly, uh, which was uh, the things that people that play um, Pirate Warrior are looking for, uh, it pretty much serves exactly the same the same purpose. It's not because of a slight reduction uh, in the, the win rate that the deck is is less powerful. Not not when we are talking about numbers like this. So I hope you enjoyed the couple of games, the videos, and. Uh, uh, the, this whole project of building these games and trying to understand what, what was going on and I hope to see you guys soon so bye bye